Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is my husband, Angelo, but we call him Ange. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and Ange is a full-time entrepreneur. He fixes up the worst of the worst rental homes and transforms them into something beautiful, but we also have a landscaping business on the side. Together, we have three kids and are starting a homestead from scratch on our 30 acres. We live in our barn dominium right now until we start a forever home build. We believe in working hard, playing even harder, and bringing the old-fashioned values back into the home. We have no idea what we're doing half the time, but we know with God, our family can accomplish great things. Hi guys, welcome back to Brown's Family Homestead. If you're new here, I am Lindsay, and we are coming up on our one year anniversary of living in our barn dominium. Actually, we are a year and a month of living in our barn dominium. So we're gonna be giving you guys a little update, some regrets, some things we do over again on our experience living in our barn. Um, we live in the upper level and our shop is all down on the lower level and it's about 1,400 square feet on the top of living space for a family of five. So we have a one-year-old, a two-year-old, and a four-year-old, and then my husband and I. So let's get into the video of our one-year anniversary of Barnuminium living. If you guys are curious what it looks like on the lower level and our living space, we have an in-depth home tour video that we posted last year. I'll post it right here so you guys can watch that. Okay, so, okay, so just an example. The garage doors are still super quiet um really really quiet not waking anybody up no rattling upstairs you can barely hear it um here's the thing with the cleanliness of the garage doors we clean them about two to three times a year and it's with a power washer so my husband will just go and spray them these are very dirty like we're due we're due for a cleaning i could draw on them they're pretty bad but here's the thing you cannot tell especially from the road you would never be able to know that they're dirty so still loving them we don't have any regrets they haven't gotten hit cracked or anything but if you're super duper paranoid about dirt they do get dirty but we also live on a homestead we do a lot of homesteading projects like we just brush hogged this whole pasture so obviously that's going to bring a ton of dust but if you're not doing stuff like that I don't see why these would be getting super dirty. Okay, so I'm gonna answer some exterior questions before I go upstairs and show you around and some things that have gone wrong um, and then some things that we really love. So as far as the steel roof, because we live on the upper level, we are very close to the roof, obviously. And so I would say there's gonna be people wondering, is a steel roof a bad idea if you're living in the upper level? Is it really loud when it rains? And it really isn't. There's some times where I'm like, wow, it's really beating down with rain. But it is never a thing where I'm like, this is gonna wake the kids up or I can't sleep. It's not, I actually really like it. I think it's soothing. <laughs> so anyways, yes, it's a little bit louder than your average roof, but it is not what you would expect being so close. Cause I mean, we are right next to the steel. So um, yeah, it's not bad at all. On to the next topic, speaking of rain, is storms. So because we are so up high, there is some shaking that goes on. So when you're in bed, we've felt like some shifting. Um, like when you go into the bathroom, you look into the toilet bowl, the water is moving around, stuff like that. It is a little bit eerie feeling, but also a contributing factor of that could be we don't have any protection from trees around us. Like it's pretty open. We're in like a pasture. So that's part of the problem. But there is, if you're a wuss with storms like me, there is some moments of feeling like, oh, this is a little bit sketchy, um, but nobody else complains about that. Not my kids, not my husband, so it's definitely not a deal breaker by any means. But full transparency, because this is the whole point of this video, I will be excited when we have a basement, and that is going to be a that is a deal breaker for me for moving into our future house. I have to have a basement. We live in Michigan. We get some bad weather sometimes, and I just feel safer being down low and not so up high. So that's something to consider too. All right, all right, so taking a look at the roof. We live in Michigan, we get a massive amount of snow and ice. And so obviously that all, it's like a sheet of ice that we noticed in the winter time. And it will all collapse because we have no snow guards, gutter guards. So that is something where if you do have this steep of a roof, you 
have to consider getting guards. Obvi that's a pretty like obvious thing to do, but we just didn't do it yet. Um, it can be really dangerous with the kids. There was a lot of moments where we were really concerned for them going out because it would just randomly, sheets of ice would just fall. So that's another thing to consider. Okay, so we do have a lawn care company. They do um, get, they put this garage door open, they back a truck into here and they pull this out every day at 6.30 in the morning. They get back around 4, 4.30. And so, 4.30 isn't an issue, but the 6.30, there's been a couple times where it's just a little bit louder than normal. I'm not blaming our guys for that or anything. It's just some days it's just a little bit louder and it will wake them up. But overall, we never run into issues with how loud it is down here and being upstairs. We are right here and I can hear it. Like, it's not going to wake me up, but I do hear it. Um... I'm a light sleeper though too. And then the boys bedroom is right over here. So they're definitely like farther away from it, from it waking them up. Overall, I'm, that's not a complaint. I would say I'm shocked at how little we hear for just that distance. Okay, so we have had some pipes freeze in the knee wall. Um, and some people are super confused how we would ever get to the pipes when everything's up there. So you come over here and this is where our little mezzanine storage area is and there is a door right there. And then he's gone up and addressed the issue. We know how to fix it now, but anyways, this is how you would access all that stuff is just right up here. Okay, so here is an example of some cracked drywall on our ceiling goes all the way down. You can like see the other piece right here. Um, there's some of that everywhere. And then if you go up here, here. So there's definitely some separating happening and then you can come over here. There's some right there. So if I'm recording the ceiling like this, you'd never be able to tell that there was any issues. You really have to be looking pretty hard. I would say the most obvious one is that corner right there. And then there's um, one that goes down, but it really isn't that bad. If this was your forever home, that might, I mean, I don't know how you would go about that besides waiting till the barn settles before you place drywall on, um, if you had the time to be able to do that, like if you were already living somewhere and you start building this and you have time to let it just sit before you place drywall and mud it, that would be the only way you would avoid the big cracks. I don't, I'm not an expert, but that's just my idea. <laughs> um, but this isn't our forever home, so I don't mind that there's like these little imperfections, it's fine. I mean, overall, I have very few complaints for living up here. The stairs, I think, is everybody's probably make it or break it, the stairs. If it's your forever home, you're gonna grow old there, you have really little kids, I could totally see why, or I've obviously a disability of some sort where you can't actually do stairs. That's going to be huge um i wouldn't even see it say little kids is huge at all like we have made it work with very three small kids it doesn't mean that it's enjoyable but it's definitely doable until your kids are old enough to just do stairs like you might have a couple years where it's kind of hard but overall it's not bad at all um i would say the worst part is groceries getting the groceries up here is a dreaded job but not something that isn't doable um what else? I don't know. We love it. I would say my husband and I run very much dreaming in the future. And so I'm surprised we haven't already started planning our whole home build. But it's just because we love it up here so much that we don't have like this huge urgency to get out. Um, we do have one bathroom for a family of five. Two of our kids are potty trained. And then we have a one-year-old that's not obviously potty trained. So um, that can become a, like a nuisance at sometimes because it's hard to keep the bathroom clean because there's five people using it all the time. Um, but other than that, not a big deal. Um, we, uh, my favorite part of the whole house is definitely the kitchen. I love it so much. I love the view outside. I love being up high. It feels like we're in a tree house. 
we do have a plan on doing a home build in our um in the corner of our property so this isn't the forever space if you're new to this channel and you haven't watched our videos before we do plan on renting this out when we're done with it or having it be a guest house because um i went to school in california i went to school in africa for a while so i've made some friendships of people around the globe so it's nice to have a place for people to be able to come stay um but i think our first option is definitely renting it out or maybe even having a farm hand eventually um, when we have cows and meat chickens and all that to where we are able to travel um, something about our homesteading journey also if this interests any of you is we're more of the modern farm um, modern homesteading approach so making it as self-sufficient as possible to where our hands aren't always needed i think we just aspire to be a family because it i don't really see it often i feel like homesteading is like you die to homesteading and we want to be able to lacy singing <laughs> we want to be able to travel and we want to be able to do things and not be absolutely tied down to them and i know it is it's a lot of hard work to watch animals it's a lot of responsibility but doing little things and making it so we can be conscious of each decision that it takes our hands off even a little bit is a win and so having a farm hand up here would make it so we're easily being able to go off and go on vacation if we wanted to do that because we plan on homeschooling we want to be able to travel um so that's important to us but anyways um we hope that this video helped you if you have any questions that we didn't answer in here we would love to answer those for you we have previous videos we have a frequently asked questions barnuminium video um and then just the whole building process of this so if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button like this video and comment below for any questions and we make videos every single weekend so we'll see you next weekend with a new video bye